Hello everyone, Brendan here, back with another video. And we are looking at Gutenbergs today. Gutenbergs is a new add-on for Bricks Builder that lets you create Gutenberg blocks out of Bricks Builder templates. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to harness the power of Bricks Builder, front-end engineering, rich libraries, mature community to build Gutenberg blocks tailored to your client's needs. You know, it's like the ever ending question of like, how do you, you know, leverage page builders, but also allow your clients to come in and edit and add new pages and not maybe be limited to just filling out an ACF form or a Metabox form and, and, you know, having that update on the front end, it's, you know, not the most fun. How do you give them blocks that they can reuse that are still within the style guidelines? And um, that's what we're going to do today. So if I come over here to this install I already have, this is a post here with three blocks that I made. And these are, I can change the layout of them. You know, these are just frames that I built in bricks that are now available as Gutenberg blocks. So I can type in here, etc. And again, as I said, I can change the layout, right? I can change the background color. If we wanted to do like a light background and a dark text. So we have that option and that holds between the three layouts. Right? Oh, well, I like I said, I only have two here. So that that color will maintain, and that's that's just our primary colors from automatic CSS. These are variables that are pulling in, and it's pretty easy to set up. So uh, if that sounds interesting, stick around. All right, so we're gonna jump into another site here. Uh, and we don't have anything on here. And also, I apologize, I'm getting over sickness so uh my voice is somehow even lower than usual um all right so what we, what we need to do is make some custom fields that are actually going to be pretty reusable and we're going to be re able to use those on various blocks regardless of uh, what kind of content is in there so it's uh, pretty reusable and they stay within the branding guidelines using the uh, color variables so um well, let's just call these gutenberg's fields and let's add a radio button. We're gonna pretty, pretty much only use radio buttons today. It seems to give um, a lot of flexibility and also be pretty easy to use. You know, as I, if I just come back to here, it's I really like that it updates in real time here. And um, as I said, I can, you know, change. It, it's very reactive in the sense that the it's it's responds directly to user input. So I I like that a lot. So uh, that we're going to be using radio buttons for that. And so let's do, um, what do we want to do? Let's do, this will be our layout. Okay. And let me just copy these over. Publish that. Or I don't need to publish yet. Let me just come over here again and do radio buttons. And we'll do background color. Background color. And again, let me just pull these over. And again, these are our um, variables from automatic CSS, space, colon, and then the name of it. We give the choices in the builder. So we'll publish that. And actually what I need to do is uh, duplicate that because that will also be what we use for the um, text color. Change that. So we'll, we'll keep that. And let's see. This one we'll do, I guess we'll put a we'll put a default text color in here. Let's grab this ultra dark, put that in there. And for the default background color, we'll do a light color. Okay. So we have those three custom fields, and we want to make sure that then we also go to settings. And this is really important to change this from post where we display it we want to change this to bricks template okay so select that save all right so now we can go and start making our layouts let's open up our templates and i will add new and let's do some i guess hero sections heroes and under template type we will select newton bricks block all right publish edit with bricks, 
And now we just need to apply those conditionally uh, to these layouts. So if I search for hero uh, alpha, get good old hero alpha in there. All right, and then let's also add a couple other hero. Hero Oscar. Doesn't really matter what we grab. We're just kind of grabbing in something to put in here so we have some variation. And what else? Yeah, something like this one. And now what we need to do, we have our three. This is going to be layout one, layout two, layout three. So we're going to go to click on the first one and we're going to go to conditions, add a condition. And we're going to do a dynamic data condition. And we're going to search for layout. And there's Metavox bricks template layouts. And we want contains layout underscore one. Okay. And shout out Maxine. Thank you for copy conditions because I can copy that. Go to the second one. Paste layout two. And then for layout three, same thing. Okay, so those are those are good to go conditionally. And now what we need to do is add our background colors. So on the first section here, go to the background, and we're going to click the color. And we want to make sure we click raw here, click raw, and then the dynamic data option. And God, of course, it's jumping around like crazy here. Search for color, and we're going to do. Metabox bricks template background color. All right, so select that and I'm going to copy that and go to the other one and do the same. So I'll act, deactivate the class. Uh, if you don't want it on the class, you can just because these are all being displayed dynamically, it doesn't really matter. So background color again, raw, dynamic data, uh, paste that in there. And on the third one here, same thing. And what now we need to do is the same thing, but for color. So make sure you, you can click a parent container that has both your text in it, topography, go to colors, and again, raw. We're going to search for color, color, text color. And again, I'm going to copy that and come to this. Our container, go to the color, same thing. You get the idea now. Not too complicated. All right, so now paste that in there. So we have the three conditions, and then we also have the uh, variable color data that's pulling into all three of the templates. All right, so now let's go back to bricks and so I've got some errors here, of course. And let's go to our posts. And let's make a new post. Uh, Gutenberg's test post. All right, so those blocks should be available here now inside the builder. I'll go ahead and hit plus. And we've got heroes. Fantastic. All right, so. What have I done here? Layout one. Oh, there we go. Layout one. So I think it didn't show up right away because I need to. Let me see. These are yeah. These these changed fine. So let me go back to the custom fields. Let me edit this. And for layouts, we want a default layout. So let me just grab layout one and we'll put that there because otherwise it won't show anything. We want to make sure that it shows. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh. And I want to make sure that it shows so that it's a good client editing experience. So I'll hit plus and hero. Perfect. There it goes. And we can, yes, we can update our images there. And let's see, background color. So we have primary, others primary. There's action. Perfect. 
So we could do primary dark and we could do text of light. Perfect. And it's just so responsive, it just updates instantly. And that color will um, maintain itself throughout the different layouts. Right. So there's uh, three hero sections that you can build directly in Gutenbricks. And that's basically all I wanted to show. And hopefully it helps out someone get started. And i um, looking forward to, to seeing where this plugin goes. Uh, I'm going to just keep going. And if you want to stick around, I'm going to build one more template and try out some page content. So what else we got here? Let's do some like content sections. And we're going to just hammer it home. Do the same thing again. Give some content sections available to clients. And I'm curious, you know, I think there's a huge amount of possibility with something like this. I mean, I'm curious also is obviously Bricks, uh, I think, has something like this on the roadmap themselves. And this is going to be an important part of the future of sort of any builder is how it operates and integrates with the Gutenberg ecosystem. So, all right, so let me insert some content sections here. Give something fun like that. When do clients ever get to put something like that in Gutenberg without some kind of crazy custom block? Well, I'd like to try this one. Um, this one has two columns here. I'd like to see how that works in Gutenberg. All right, so, Okay, let's just add one more. So we, we have three. Mm, let's see how this one translates over. Okay. So, um, you know what I'm going to do? I wonder if I can copy. I'm just going to guinea pig this video. See if I can copy the conditions between browser tabs. Oh, no, we've got something going on here. That's no good. All right, well, let's just keep going. Um, oh, I think it's something with this column thing. I don't, I don't know if I've had that in. All right, so anyway, distracted. All right, so content section, Mike. Go to conditions, do dynamic data, search for layout. Contains layout one. Rinse and repeat. All right, three layouts. And okay, quickly, let's do the background colors. And again, we'll come to background, raw. Grab that. Okay, okay, here we go. The rounding, the finishing. So here's what we got. So we have some three content sections. So let's go back to our post. And I'm not going to bother with the colors, you get the idea of it. Um, so now again, we come to plus, got some content sections, and there they are, just like that. And this is reusing the exact same fields. No need to create new crazy fields that you need to figure out how they all map. Um, just works, pretty cool. If I put something here, that works, awesome. So, that's pretty cool. And I wanted to see, oh yeah, can I like take some text here and awesome. It just works in columns. There it is. All right, so there's some uh couple different sections that you can build with Guten Bricks. Curious to see what you guys come up with. And uh yeah, good luck to, to everyone. Take care. See you in the next video.